Hello everybody, this is Kanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can erase data from ESP development boards or it's better to say that how to reset ESP development boards to factory default. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done already as it motivates me to upload more videos. Okay. In this video, I have ESP32 development board connected to a breadboard. Also, we need a USB cable to connect the board to PC. In this video, I use a Windows operating system. You can use Mac. There is no difference. Let's start. First of all, connect your development board to computer using USB cable. Then navigate to control panel. Open device manager. In device manager, you can find in other devices section CP2102, USB2 UART bridge controller. As you see, there is a warning here. By double clicking on the device, in device status, we have the drivers for this device are not installed. Okay, we have to install the driver for this device. For doing so, navigate to this web page. You can find the link in description. Download the related driver based on your operating system. The file will be downloaded as zipped, unzip it. Then again, navigate to control panel, device manager, and double click on the device, the USB to UART bridge controller. Select driver, click on update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers, click on browse, find your driver and select it. Click OK, then tap on or let's say click on next. Windows was unable to install the driver. Let's try one more time. Okay, next. Windows has successfully updated your driver. Do you want to restart your computer now? You must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. But I skip it now. Now the device is connected to port number five and you can find it. It's time to reset the device. Navigate to ESP Web Flasher. I refresh the page. Then at the top right corner of the screen, tap on connect while your ESP development board is connected to your computer. In this popped up window, your device is displayed, select it and click connect. The device is detected and the connection is established. I click on erase. This will erase the entire flash. OK. Erasing flash memory. Please wait. Erasing is finished. Now we have to download the original file to the development board. You can download the original file from the manufacturer's website by navigating to supports and download. You can find the link of this page in description and download the related file of your development board. At this page in front of your development board, 
pin file, click on download. For example, I click download here. I'm navigated to this page. I want ESP32S2 at binaries. Select it. Here we have a released firmware. Download the related one. I have already done it. After downloading the firmware, navigate to ESP Web Flasher page again. I select choose a file. Select the firmware. I choose the factory one, then open it. Okay, after selecting the file, click on program. Wait till programming finishes. It may take several minutes. Programming is finished. To run the new firmware, please reset your device. I disconnect the USB cable from the device and connect it again. Resetting is done. After resetting your ESP development board by searching Wi-Fi networks, you should find the Wi-Fi name of your ESP development board, as you see here on the screen. Okay, by using ESP Web Flasher, resetting ESP development boards are very simple. The only difficult part is finding the origin bin file of your development board. You can find that by navigating or surfing on the manufacturer's website. Going to downloads section, then add section thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me a coffee i'll see you in the next video